Next part would be to uh, rebuild this uh, carburetor, clean it. There's a lot of gunk in it. I got a kit to rebuild it. I might not do a video of the kit because there's so much video for this kind of carburetor. I'm going to dismantle the link, this and this one. Then after that I have to remove the intake because it's leaking. So before removing it I also have to remove the exhaust manifold because there's one bolt hidden there. So that's one issue I see there, it's not moving freely. So that joint that you might not see really much. So this link is going like this, but as you can see, it's really stiff. I have to revisit this link because it's actually maybe pulling sideways on the carburetor um, butterfly. Yeah, it's really a stiff. So if you wonder what it is exactly, it's not OEM. I just dismantled the other bolt and show you what it is. So here it is. So if it does look like a pipe flange, it is a pipe flange with a one and a half inch threaded pipe. Cheap stuff, effective. Now I'm going to move to the serial stuff. Now the last one is on the top, there's two on the top, one there, one there. So I'm left with this one that I cannot access or barely access and this one that I can barely access too. I make it dry so this one socket doesn't fit obviously. I like to have a six paint socket there, 916. Okay, I've got that socket. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. That's not. Could be fitting, but I won't be able to fit anything in. One more. Good. All the bows are loose. You see by the color of the washer and it's my gas that it's leaking. So 
though you can see there are some cracks here I don't know if you can see them all there's cracks here and here so those are the intakes exhaust There's definitely uh, some leaks right there. Steel lugs, brass nuts, that's why I was able to remove them so easily. I have to find if there is any spring loaded. Yeah, there's a small. There should be something there. I hate to see that I just bought a kit that was already open. I don't like it much. What? are these oh instruction that's perfect oh, it seems i would have the uh, marvel shelber type b so i don't have any indication of the choke assembly that's bad doesn't seem to be a complete kit. I'm not going to have a new seat there. I got this kit from a Steiner tractor intake manifold gasket to replace this one which is a perfect match I initially 
got this rebuild kit which you can see the parts here but actually the uh, kit was not complete it was missing some uh, important parts one of the most important part is this flap it has a spring that attach on one side to the other this spring was missing and the kit I initially got in that box was not included in this and so many other parts that were not included so I did order a new kit so the, the repair kit was this initially so it was one seat a few gaskets and not much more actually it was to my opinion worth less so this is the uh, kit number CKS3580 from Spinner Tractor so this one is from the uh, previous kit this one too Okay. Now this is a complete kit as opposed to this. And most importantly, this flap has its own spring now.
That will be the first attempt to start it after the star has been changed. Well, so here is the trick. Charging now.